Hi guys, Mark Dawes. It's Friday the 18th of February. I just thought I'd round off the week with this video vlog. We've had a really interesting week this week, which followed on from last week, where we were working with a family. We had a meeting with a complex needs team up, up in the North Wales area to help them out, and that was a very successful meeting. I'd like to thank Ted Folger personally for his input on that meeting. I mean, he was absolutely extraordinary, as I, as I commented on in the video. We then had a training session with another family who are on a direct payment scheme, who, again, they, they have a son who has, has learning disabilities and challenging behavior, and we work with them and their carers to help them devise a specific program that, that is, you know, meets the needs of what they need to do with, with their family member. So that was really interesting the other week. Uh, as you know, if you've seen that, one, one of the videos I've put out, I had a very interesting discussion with the director of a care home around the issue of uh, restrictive techniques. And it's just bizarre, you know, in, in this day and age, that there are people actually, you know, doffing their lid, if you like, you know, having to feel so worried about the fact that they can't make the right decision because of the fact that an agency, such as Ofsted in that case, is going to bully them into submission and close them down. They're going to lose their business. And it's a terrible state to be in. And I, I do get it. I do understand where they're coming from. I mean, I, I run a business and I do understand the pressures that you're under, uh, as many of you will do as well. You know, but you have to do the right thing because it's the right thing to do. And you, you can't leave out stuff, you know, knowing it's going to put people at risk just because you want to tick in the box so you can carry on making money. I mean, to me, that just doesn't sit with our value and belief system. But anyway, the video's out there and you can watch on that stuff. But then leading on from that, I did a quick short screen capture video of a blog post I saw, uh, a post I saw on LinkedIn of a trainer who put um, a blog post up there and was actually you know, recommending that if you're gonna get training in this field, then it must be accredited by BUILD and the ICM, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And this sort of stuff fuels this whole misconception and myth out there. So for those of you that are doing a good job, you know, for those of you that are doing the right thing and are challenging the status quo, that's great, you know, do that. But remember, you know, if you're employed by someone or if, if, if your commissioning agency, your client says, this is what we want, then that's what you deliver. You know, don't cut off your nose to spite your face. Don't fight a battle you can't win. Deliver exactly what they want, as long as you've signed to that effect that that's what they want. Because at the end of the day, it's the commissioning agency that picks up the responsibility for this stuff, not you. You can advise, you can give good guidance, you, you can actually consult with them, you can say, look, I recommend this, but at the end of the day, they sign it off and that's what you deliver. Uh, just make sure you dot your I's and cross your T's and obviously provide good feedback and, and you, you know, you're, you're pretty much in the clear on that fact because the responsibility will always lie with the commissioning agency. So that's sort of the nuts and bolts of the week. We've got some, some interesting stuff coming up next week. Of course, we're getting into that time of year again when we've got the large instructors course in March, the restraint instructors course in March. And we're looking forward to seeing all of you that are attending that course. And if you are attending that course, please crack on and get the pre-course work done because that's really important because you, you're going to enjoy the course much more if you've got that pre-course work done. And we're going to get inside your heads and fiddle around a little bit with some of the quantum thinking stuff we do as well. Uh, on that basis, we did an excellent quantum thinking day for a company in North Wales the, last, the week before last. Uh, that was a company going through a massive change. We went there, we did a day on quantum thinking. It was very well received and I'd like to thank, thank you for having me. Uh, it was an absolute pleasure for working with you and, and, and your teams. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that. Also, this March, we've got the refresher coming up. So for those of you that are booking on, book on the refresher if you're coming. Please watch the video on the webpage because we have split the accommodation from the courses that this year to try and make it easier for you. For some reason, it has become complicated for some of you. Uh, but basically, if you're coming for one day, then if you want accommodation the night before, book it. If you're staying for two days, then you have to book the accommodation separately for the second day if you're staying to do the handcuffing, uh, soft cuffing and ERB stuff. And if you're coming to do that, Mark Williams has got some great kit to show you. He's developed a new soft restraint system and it's absolutely brilliant. It knocks everything else into a cocked hat. And of course, you know, with Mark, you've got quality assurance going with that as well, because everything he's had has been tested to the appropriate standard and comes with medical reviews. So again, you know, you, for those of you attending that day, that's gonna be an absolutely great day for you. We have a self-defense instructors course coming up in April. That's virtually nearly full now. I mean, it's been really mad this year, but January's been hugely busy for us and February's looking at being the same. So we're, we're really, really filling up on the April self-defense course. We will be closing the gate on that one soon. So if you are keen on coming along, then you know, have a look at the webpage, you know, book on if you want to come or give me a call and we'll have a chat. But I just thought I'd do a quick summary of the week for you. That's most stuff that's happening. But one final note, just think about this, okay? You know, you are a phenomenal individual. If you're a trainer, if you're in business, 
you have information, you have knowledge that's valuable to other people and you can commoditize that and you can monetize that on your website and you can earn an income. You know, this is really important for those of you in business. You know, it's called information marketing and I'm going to go into this more on, on future blog posts. But people and organizations will pay you for the value that you present to them in terms of information. We do, as you're probably aware, a lot of information marketing because we, you know, it, it's a great way to, to add an additional income stream to your business. So there'll be more coming on that as well to tell you how to do that. Uh, and I think that's about it really. So listen, have a great weekend. I'll probably speak to you next week. Thanks ever so much for listening and I'll see you soon. And like I said, if you, if you want to know anything, drop me an email or pick up the phone. Thanks for listening guys. And again, have a great weekend.